Hi! You have probably seen from our videos that we love reusing old things. We believe that it's better for the environment. There will be less garbage if we stop throwing away so many things and also you can always make cool projects for your house. For us that can be a sweet sleeping place for cats as you could see from the last video or cool home decoration like this Singer sewing machine. We recently bought a Singer sewing machine model 15K from 1937 as a home decoration item. But the machine lacked a belt, which I actually found in a drawer, but it was broken. Luckily, this leather treadle belt is still easy to find. I'll put the link in the description from where I bought it, so if you need it, you don't have to search. And it is very cheap, I paid just 4 euro and 70 cents for it. In this video I will show you how to replace the treadle belt on this sewing machine, but the procedure is the same for all other similar models. New treadle belt is 183 centimeters, which is good length, and it comes with a staple attached to the one end. It is important to guide the belt through all belt guiding position. I will show you which guiding position we have later in this video, but it's not a problem to identify them. This was my first time doing something like this. Take your time, but be sure that belt is on the right position. I attach the clip to keep one side of the belt in position, on that way it is easier to tighten the belt. sure that you have good tension on the belt and it doesn't have to be too tight but also it is not good if it's too loose then mark the cutting position and the hole with a marker You can also first pierce a hole, if 
if you are not sure if the belt has good tension, but I decide to cut it right away. See how I mark at position, cutting and piercing spot. For piercing the hole, you can use special pillars for that, or regular nail, which I used. I use a board on which I have carved a groove, so that the belt will not rotate when piercing a hole. Piercing, make sure that the hole is in the middle of the belt. It is not ideal, but it can pass. Guide the belt one more time. Before hooking the staple, be sure that belt is on the correct position. Make sure that the belt doing its job. When I was rotating pulley with my hand, I was sure that everything working fine. So I crimped the staples with the pillars, thinking the job is done.
Later, I realize that belt is slipping, so I assume that the problem is with tension, so I remove it and shorten it one more time. piercing was hit in the bull's eye. While I'm returning the belt on the right position, you can check through which guide holes the belt needs to be guided. thing that caused the problem, which you will see later. As I said before, now I have perfect tension, but the machine is still not working. After some googling, I discover what is the problem. The machine is very old and was not used for who knows how long. Disengage the mechanism using the stop motion wheel on the hand pulley. This will stop the needle bar from moving, so you can be sure that belt is working fine, as it is in my case. Problem is that my machine needs to be cleaned and lubricated. We just clean it from outside and not too much, as for us it will be used as home decoration and we want that machine to have that old look. But as we are already here, let's give it a try to make it working. This handle is for removing the belt. I buy some oil that is suitable for sewing machine as I couldn't find original singer oil that they recommend. But I believe that this one will be fine. machine have a lot of oiling points, but you can check for yours in manual, which is really easy to, easy to find online. Start from the bottom. I could just edit the video so you would never know that I had this problem. But as this is first time that I'm doing something like this, it is not uncommon to have some problems. Important thing is to resolve them. And for you it is good to see what kind of problem you could have when doing similar things. Also, intention of this video was to show how to change belt, but now you also get opportunity to see how to oil machine and maybe some other tricks that you didn't know before. On the top of the machine there are several holes for oiling. It is enough to use just one drop of oil on every place. This time I use a little more as I didn't clean it first which I recommended if you want to make complete restoration of your machine. It is also necessary to remove the front panel, but the screw is really stuck, so I used VD40.
and I forget that in the drawer I have appropriate screwdriver so I change several mines and at the end this small tool successfully done the job. Sorry for bad lighting, I'm not a professional YouTuber and I don't have expensive equipment. All I have is my mobile phone and tripod with few different holders. On the back side there is also one cover that needs to be removed. I'm sorry because you can't see it, but it is attached with just one screw that should be removed by hand. But in my case, it was stuck, so again I use VD40 and pillars to remove it. Munya and Emma was there to help me. At the end. The machine started working, but still it was not so smooth as this machine required detailed cleaning. But as I told you, this is a home decoration thing so for now. I will leave it as it is, but maybe sometimes later I will do complete restoration. Let me show you how it looks when you have a packet machine and you need to start working with it. The treadle wheel have a couple of flat spots where it could be difficult to get the wheel moving or it can turn in wrong direction, so make sure that you always use hand wheel to start turning in the right direction. And this is for what this machine will be used in our house. Thanks for watching and if you liked the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to watch more from us.